President Xi Jinping on Monday, said China was willing to deepen cooperation with Indonesia, calling for the two countries to push for an equal multipolar world and protect the interests of developing economies. In a meeting with Indonesian President-elect Prabowo Sabianto in Beijing, she said China viewed its relations with Indonesia from a strategic and long-term perspective. China is willing to work with Indonesia to run the historic relay race well. Continue to deepen around strategic cooperation and build a China-Indonesia community with a shared future with regional and global influence, she said, according to state broadcaster CCTV. She, who described China and Indonesia as major developing countries, said the two nations should pioneer South-South cooperation and create a model of mutual respect and common development. In a world that was rapidly changing, the Chinese leader said both sides should actively promote an equal and orderly multipolar world and inclusive economic globalization, boost multilateral cooperation, and safeguard the interests of developing countries. China has in recent years sought to portray itself as a leader of developing countries and the so-called Global South, calling for greater inclusion of emerging economies on the world stage. She told Prabowo that China was willing to maintain close exchanges with Indonesia, promote their comprehensive economic corridor projects, and continue strengthening maritime cooperation. China is willing to work with Indonesia to safeguard the unity and centrality of ASEAN, maintain an open and inclusive regional architecture, and build a closer China-ASEAN community with a shared future. She said, referring to the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. The 72-year-old former general was visiting China at Xi's invitation and at a time when Beijing and Washington are seeking to expand their influence in the region and as tensions mount in the South China Sea. According to the CCTV report, Prabowo called China a major country with important influence and a strong cooperative partner of Indonesia. He told Xi that he supported the development of closer relations and was willing to continue outgoing leader Joko Widodo's friendly policy towards China. He said the new Indonesian government was ready to promote cooperation with China in fields including the economy and trade, and to strengthen coordination on international and regional affairs. She said ties between China and Indonesia had achieved significant results under outgoing leader Widodo, who was more popularly known as Jokowi. Relations deepened significantly under Widodo's leadership. With China being Indonesia's largest trading partner and second largest foreign investor. Calling the president elect an old friend of the Chinese people, she said he believed Prabowo would continue the friendship between the two countries. Prabowo said during his campaign that Indonesia would maintain our independent foreign policy, but observers say it is unclear whether he will take a hardline stance on China or continue with Dodo's pragmatic approach. Asked about the visit last week, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Lin Jian said Prabowo was expected to exchange views on bilateral relations and issues of mutual interest with Chinese officials. He said Prabowo's visit to China demonstrated the robustness of ties and that the two countries shared a deep traditional friendship and close and strong cooperation. The visit is a great opportunity to further enhance traditional friendship, deepen comprehensive strategic cooperation, and better synergize development strategies to provide a good example of major developing countries embracing a shared future, Lin said on Friday. According to Indonesia's Defense Ministry, Prabowo will hold talks with Chinese Premier Li Chang and Defense Minister Dong Jun on Tuesday.